Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis, and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to warmly welcome you to my channel. I want to thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. A few days ago, I shared with you a recipe for a restful sleep and relaxation balm that you can anoint your temples with if you have a tension headache when you get ready to go to bed the inside of your wrist, your elbows, and certainly massage it into your feet and, and have, you know, just crazy soft feet when you get up in the morning. Uh, if you didn't see that, I will drop a link below. But this particular balm that I'm making, I'm making it in exact, the exact same way. I've actually got my container already here. I have a, a small glass container here with a lid, and I have had this melting in my slow cooker here this morning. And what I have put, the base for this particular balm is three tablespoons of solid coconut oil, two teaspoons of now you can use either sweet almond oil or you can use jojoba oil. I use jojoba oil because I know jojoba oil will s absorb to your skin so quickly. And uh, as some of you know, I use a combination of jojoba oil and helloscrium uh, strictly for my face and my neck and my chest and things like that. So I know jojoba oil very well, and that's what I chose here. If you don't have that, almond oil. If you don't have that, olive oil. Whatever works for you. And two teaspoons of beeswax pellets, and that is the base of this particular oil. Now, for an antihistamine, we are... And I'm going to do it, like I said, exactly the same way that I did it before. I'm going to put it in a little, little glass container. We are going to start off with 10 drops of lemon essential oil. That's 10. 10 drops of lavender essential oil. And we have peppermint here, 10 drops of peppermint essential oil. If it will come. And seven drops of frankincense essential oil. And just give it a little bit of a stir. And just pour this right into your base that you are cooking. And get all of your essential oils to drop in there. And you know what? It is just simply that easy. Of course, of course, do a patch test before you start especially putting this up under your nose to help with, uh, you know, some allergies you may have or your chest. If, if you have a lot of irritation in your throat and things like that from, you know, your sinuses being all weird with all of the pollen and everything around, um, you can certainly, like I said, rub it up under your nose, your chest, up onto your neck, and it is exceptional since it does have antihistamine qualities. It is very, very good for any kind of bee stings, wasp stings, or anything like that. And there you go. And I'm going to just close this lid up. And I, well, I, I should actually show you. You can, you can see my beeswax. The beeswax is always the last thing that believe you guys can see. It's always the last thing that, you know, will go. So 
it will take probably maybe five more minutes in this to get the beeswax. And this is what I made a few days ago. And again, this is for sleep. It is, and I'm glad I added the musk because I probably, and again, I don't like anything too sweet, too, too, you know, floral, but um, yeah, there you go. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and don't let the pollen and all of everything that's blooming get you down. Make some of this and use this, you know, whenever you need it, at night when you go to bed, if you're going for a hike, maybe a little bit up under your nose and a little bit on your chest, uh, things like that. But um, it's very, very gentle on your skin, but please do a patch test. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. And I wanna thank you so, so much for joining me. Mary Part, and I so hope to marry me again. Goodbye, guys.